there we go. We have Kane. Kane is going to be trying to have a match. Hopefully Bray Wyatt doesn't run in on him, but what's up, guys? Yo, guys. I don't know why I said what's up, guys. Yo, guys. What's going on? My name is Vexlate, and today we have another episode of Universe Mode. Kane looks like he's actually going to have a match. I don't know who it's against, but Kane's just happy to have a match. Bray Wyatt hasn't run out on him, and you can see he, he's smiling. He, he looks happy. Either way, we have Kane right there. And who is his opponent? Shane McMahon. If you guys don't know, Shane McMahon at WrestleMania 32, he was, you know, in a rivalry with Undertaker. And I guess Kane, Kane is uh, Undertaker's brother. So I guess there's a little bit of a backstory to this match too. But looks like Kane is actually going to be able to have his match. Bray Wyatt didn't run out on him. That's pretty good. Yeah. So money all over the place. You guys remember last SmackDown we determined a number one contender for the WWE Championship and um, Bray Wyatt was asking Shane McMahon, the commissioner, if there was going to be a match to determine the number one contender for his SmackDown tag team titles and Shane McMahon said, no, we already have your opponent which will be revealed at Battleground which is kind of weird but um... This Looks like we're going to find out who his opponent is at Battleground, so I guess he doesn't have to, uh, or whoever his contender is doesn't even have to fight, he, they're just automatically placed into the match, so I guess that's fine. Kane went up top, he usually doesn't do that much, so I guess that's why that failed. Then again, Braun Strowman also doesn't do superplexes off the top rope, but he was doing that last Raw. Counter after counter. Wait, did I counter? Yes, I did. Okay. So it looks like Kane's actually going to have a match. That's crazy. Okay. There we go. I do like going up top a lot. Kane doesn't really do that, but, you know, it's okay. Irish whip. And a cold line from hell almost. Irish whip it to the corner. Oh, I didn't want to go up top. I wanted to hit him, but looks like I'm going up top. Oh, and he stopped me. This match is important for both men. Kane finally has a match. He should win it. And Shane McMahon lost in the Elimination Chamber match, so... Twisting the neck. Slamming my head against the canvas. Twisting the neck again. He looks a bit off his game here. He and a big boot. Right now. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to And another counter. In fact, it might make and a it counter. Stronger. Well, Is he going to counter this, too? But I'd say this one could go and he countered that, too. To a DDT. Kane really needs I to get ahead of his match. He just doesn't know what he has to do. One, not even. Kane kicks out. Shane McMahon may be wondering what he has to do, too. Going to twist the neck. That's that's not what he should be doing, but he sure does like doing it. Shane McMahon shows us some clever offense here. He's in full Shane McMahon has a signature. Oh, and a punch. And another. And one more knocking me down. He has his finisher. Is Shane McMahon? Uh oh. He has the comeback. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's going to miss the punch. And oh, kicked him. Kane has a new strategy. Here we go. Irish whip sending him out. That's what we want. 
He's going to try to count him out. Are we going to try to count him out? I don't know. This is what oh. makes him one of the best in the business. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about Strike. to Strike. Oh, and another oh, and a relentless. Oh. And an, oh, and it reverses the body slam. Ooh, okay. Shane McMahon going back to the ring. Nope, he's going to fight. Out of five count, the Irish went back into the ring. Okay. With an elbow. Oh, and he's... Might want to get back into the ring instead of taunting, but he could do what he wants. No counter. Right into the corner. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was his finisher. I countered his finisher. Oh, we're charging up our finisher. We're going for it. Oh! Choke slam? Oh, oh, his head hit the ropes on the way down. Look, oh, he's going for the pin. One, two, three. Kane gets his first win. Bray Wyatt didn't even come out. Shane McMahon gets another loss, though. So, both men needed the win. Of course, only one man can get the win. I don't think Kane would have won that if we didn't counter the finisher, though. Either way, Kane getting his first win. There we... What the hell? Bray Wyatt. Come here. Yeah, that's it. We're fighting you. We're sick and tired of this Bray Wyatt. We're sick and... I'm... We're sick and tired of it. Kane's going to be fighting him now. He's done with he's right done here. with Bray. Let's see special moves. Standing in front. Oh, he has the claw hold. Oh my! There's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. He's not done though. He has a choke slam in store for. He's. No, he didn't. He goes for the tombstone. He goes for the tombstone. And he countered. And he countered. He countered. With a tombstone of his own. Oh my god, I'm caught up into the ropes and everything. Oh my god. He countered the tombstone. Bray Wyatt. Escaping. Can't grab a weapon. Might as well just... Oh, right to a punch. Oh. What is he doing? Looks like Bray Wyatt is gonna get the beat down after all. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able His rivalry isn't going anywhere. Bray Wyatt's just relentless. He's just bullying Kane. He doesn't even he doesn't let him have anything. But anyway, up next we have a fatal four way number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship. I owe this to Zack Ryder to win this back because it's my fault he's not the champion anymore, if you guys remember. The debuting Alberto Del Rio took the championship off of Zack Ryder. So we got Daniel Bryan, Zack Ryder, Baron Corbin, and Dolph Ziggler. Here we have Zack Ryder, the former champion. One problem there is in my universe mode is that title changes happen way too often. So, after this pay-per-view, we're going to try to limit that. Either way, Zack Ryder is ambitious. He needs this win. There he is, smiling. Up next... Baron Corbin, the lone wolf. Walking slow is all living anything. He's the slowest man alive. There he is. Baron Corbin. Baron 
There's Daniel Bryan. He may have lost in the Elimination Chamber, but he can still win this. Everyone doing the yes chance with him. And last but not least, we have Dolph Ziggler. He is here to show the world. Dolph. There we go, Zack Ryder, Baron Corbin, Daniel Bryan, and Dolph Ziggler. Who can become the champ? The Broskies are in full force tonight. The three men standing opposite Zack Ryder better be ready for the Long Island IC. Otherwise, this already starting with the sledgehammer to Dolph. Oh, and he missed the drop kick. He missed the drop kick. There we go. Grabbing the stairs. Oh, Baron Corbin takes our stairs. Oh, and he hits me with them. Oh, grabs his foot. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission. And he oh my god, Baron. Yeah, you can't counter that, can you? Grabbing the stairs again. Zack Ryder's gonna be relentless because he lost his championship and he wants it back. Hitting the legs. Uh oh. Dolph Ziggler wants some more. Daniel Bryan wants some. Oh, oh. Going to the top. Who's he gonna hit? Who's he gonna hit? Oh, Baron stops him. Oh, we stop Baron. Oh my God. Of course, we're all going back in the ring when I was about to do my signature. And again. Here, let's see. Uh, okay. Nope. Why are you rolling out, dude? Wow, that was a wild strike. We're gonna roll on him. We're gonna jump on him, actually. How's not roll? Oh, we hit him. No recovery time for you. Get back in this ring. Kick. See, it's my signature from up here. I don't get it. Where is it? Oh, but we still hit him. All right. It is. It is a diving elbow drop. Was that just too far? Oh, I have no. I have a finisher. I guess. Either way. Come on, get up. Ah! Baron Corbin moves out of the way. Oh, my arm. Me and Baron are... Oh. I have my finisher. Baron Corbin definitely should keep me down as long as I can. Daniel Bryan has a signature. And a punch. Nope. Just relentless. What is he doing? There we go. We got the counter. Ooh. Dolph Ziggler, you... Oh, you're going to send me out. Oh, okay. Oh, they're both coming for me. Oh, Baron Corman kind of saving me. 
Nope, I wanted to hit Baron. There we go. Alright, come on, can we tear apart the table? Whoa, oh, <laughs> teleporting? Did Ed, you guys had to have seen that, right? All right, that's all right. I guess we'll take on Daniel Bryan. No, hit his head. Oh. And, uh... Uh-oh. Daniel Bryan has his finisher. I didn't even realize. Uh-oh. I countered his finisher. This could be it for Daniel Bryan. Can we pin Daniel Bryan to become the number one contender? Big elbow drop. Oh. What the? All right. What is our? Ah. Okay. Uh oh. Daniel Bryan's comeback. He has a comeback. Oh, no counter for us and a German suplex. And uh, Irish whip into the corner. Uh oh. Look at those eyes. And oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Dive. Okay. Uh oh. Going to the top rope. He has a signature. Uh, and I, yo, I just counter everything he sends at me. Alright, I guess we'll do the 450 splash. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at signatures. Wait, no, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. 450 splash. Oh, my God. We're going for the pin. One. Two. Three. Zack Ryder's the number one contender for his championship. It's his. One 450 splash is all it takes to become the number one contender. Can we see the replay? Here it is. An amazing 450 splash. Daniel Bryan humiliated. And I had another finisher if you wanted to kick out from that too. I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to There we go guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.